Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux at FluxWithIt.com, and today we're going to check out the Elysia Character Module. Now, this rack unit is a mastering grade distortion module, and what that means is that it gives you very controllable saturation and distortion, and gives you that kind of, um, you know, tube-like distortion, as well as um, just some really great saturation, and you can control the harmonics on it. Another key factor about this thing is that it also has CV control over your distortion color and, and uh, drive amount. So you can really sculpt things uh, in an interesting way. If you want to run something like an LFO into it or an oscillator and have it kind of pulsing uh, and, and use that as even a recall in your studio, you can do that with this module. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, I have the Dave Smith Tempest here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this thing sounds dry and then I'm going to turn on the character module and then we'll play with some settings and I'll kind of explain what we've got going on. So let's take a listen to the beat here. Now something important to note about the fact uh, that we have this little on-off button here is we can set things up and kind of just flip right into it. So if I want to drop my drive, bring my color away bright, and uh, let's take a listen now. And then as I bring the drive up, back to drive. Of course, I also have a wet-dry mix on here as well, so if I take that to 50%, we can retain the punch of our drums while getting that crazy distortion and saturation. Back it off even further. Now the color knob is going to allow me to really adjust my harmonics in here. So if I take it all the way to the left, I can get this really dark subby sound. And if I bring it to the right, I'll get this uh, very uh, top end distortion. Very low fi kind of sound. And of course, 12 o'clock is a more uh, neutral flat color on it. Great aspect about this is let's back this drive off. Now right now we're really just getting a nice saturation going. Okay. One of the features on here is that you can actually engage a uh, you can move from saturation into a more uh, tube distortion model. And you do that by pressing the FET shred switches. So I'm going to bring this on here first. And now I have the FET on. Let's bring that up. And again with it off. On. And then you have your turbo boost. Now, another nice feature about this is that we can we can use this to just kind of add a little bit of life and a little bit of harmonics to, like, bass lines, for instance. Let's turn it off for a second, and let's listen to this bass. Again, this is still coming from the Tempest. 
Now, if I turn it on... So it really kind of will thicken up and, and just add some liveliness and tone to your to your bass notes. Uh, it works great on, on leads as well, but I really like it on bass because just the way that it kind of uh, adds the harmonics in, it really will kind of let you cut through the mix a little bit without having to increase your volume. Sweet through the color range here. So certainly adds an awful lot of girth to the sound, which is really nice. Uh, now let's go ahead and check out the, the mid-side relationship on here as well. Okay, so we have a stereo link button here. And this will allow us to do things such as mid-side processing or just chain the module into itself, essentially. So you can basically thicken up and double up. Uh, just how much distortion and, and color you're getting out of this module. Also remember that because it's analog, you're going to have different tolerances in components between left and right channel. So this will allow you to get kind of a slightly different aspect out of each side. Now the knobs on here are uh, detented so that you can um, get very precise with where you're setting things which is nice, but you're always going to have that, that slight bit of difference there because it is analog. So uh, let's take a listen to that same beat, but we're going to switch between the stereo link modes and then uh, I'll, I'll adjust the, the secondary uh, settings here. So by using the uh, mid-side unlinked function, we can use these two different character modules um, together on the same sound and really kind of uh, keep keep that center basis, but alternate how the how the edges sound, how the saturation sound. So it's just really a powerful way to get interesting colors out of it. Now let's switch over here. I'm going to use a um, basically a very simple 909 sounding drum kit out of machine and i want to show just how much it'll change and liven this this very basic sound up I mean, you really have so much control over, you know, everything from your low end uh, harmonics to really getting uh, 
getting the, the, the beef and, and snap out of a snare. So just super powerful. Let's take a listen to some classic drum breaks uh, through this thing. All right, so now we have a classic drum break running. Let's take a listen to how uh, this thing can affect it and be used to sculpt the sound a bit. Already we're getting a lot more beefy low end and, and just kind of thickening up the sound a bit. And keep, keep in mind here, while this is going on, we still have that, the transients are still snapping because we're able to mix this in using the mid side here and blend in just how much dry wet we want for each distortion. So I think overall, the uh, Elysia character module here is just a very, very capable distortion module. It's very different from using something like a, a you know, a distortion pedal or, or even just using a regular tube amp to try to get distortion because this is so much more controllable and you have so much more ability to, to just sculpt the sound exactly where you want it. So I highly recommend checking it out. If you're in the market for a high-end distortion slash saturation module, this is something that you should really take a look at. Uh, I'm, I'm personally going to be uh, really sad to see this thing go out of my studio. Uh, I have it in just for review, and I got to say, uh, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to be taking a look at this. Also, it's available in 500 series form factor as well. Uh, so if you're looking to save a little bit of space on the desktop, uh, you might want to go 500 series on it. Uh, but just a really wonderful module. I, I can't recommend enough. So this is Flux of FluxWithIt.com. Peace. <laughs>